Hey everyone, um, my name is Lily and welcome to my channel. I'm currently a second semester junior at Bryant. I'm studying digital marketing if anyone cares, probably not, but yeah. Welcome to my Zorm tour. I posted my freshman year, my freshman dorm, and that Bryant University Bristol dorm tour still people talk about it to this day they're like i watched your dorm tour and i'm like that's awesome but people are requesting i do an updated one and i also just think it'll be helpful because i don't think there are any dorm tours aside from mine so why not why not give the people what they want so real quick i guess i'll give you a rundown of like where i live so like i said i'm a junior so juniors and sophomores live in the sweet style like village there's upper village and lower village. It just like determines like which buildings you're in. They're the same thing. There's suites of six, which is three doubles. And there's suites of, or quads of four, which is two doubles, which is four. Yes, math. Each suite has its own like common room and bathroom in it. So yeah, I guess I'll just walk you through mine. I don't even know, I'm so awkward. Me, because I can hear people in the hallway. We don't keep our doors locked in this building because we're all, I also live in the Greek Life building. I probably should have mentioned that. But since I live in the Greek Life building, we all know each other. We all like keep our doors unlocked and it's like super, super friendly and chaotic. So whenever I do things like this, this is the first time I've done something in a while, so I don't know why I'm talking about like saying this is like a normal thing, but I'm mortified people are gonna walk in and I'm just gonna be sitting here like, uh. so yeah, but let's just get into it. This is the front door. That's the hallway out there, obviously. You walk in, I'll give you a point, a POV. This is what you see when you walk in. Quick overview. So each suite comes with three chairs like so and a couch we put a couch cover over it because the couch is busted underneath like so ugly so we just did this to like neutralize it it's like orange and stuff so yeah that also have this coffee table and a side table both came with it we put a rug since i live in the greek life hall i live in the sigma suite which is cool because i think we've had this suite for like 25 years or something so, I like that. Each suite also has a mantle like this. And pe most people just like put a TV or something like that. Um, we have fridges in here. That's our business. Um, we also have letters in our window that one of my suite mates painted. Miss Maddie painted them. But there's one in each window. It says Sigma, Sigma, Sigma. But each... Sweet has letters in the window because we're all Greek affiliated. And then, I'm sorry, I'm like not doing a good job at this. So when you're walking, that's a double, that's a double, that's my room, and that's a double. And then around this corner is like your little like trash nook. Put like trash, cleaning supplies, like we have like our Swiffer and all that stuff there. This needs to go out. And then to the right is the bathroom. The bathroom is pretty low key. It's just double sink, storage underneath, two stalls, and a shower. Nothing crazy. But if you live in a quad, I think you only have one sink, one bathroom, like one stall. But in the six persons, you six people, whatever, I don't know. But now let's move on to my room. So walking into my actual bedroom, I'll just do a quick overview. Yeah. Um, I probably should have mentioned this, but I live in a six person suite, but each one of us has a single, like that's why I have a mega bed because three of my roommates are abroad in Spain right now. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna live with them again senior year. I lived with them last semester and I had a direct roommate. So yeah, that explains that. So closing the door behind me, I have a mirror on the back of the door that's been here since I think two generations ago or two cycles ago. Like me and Katie did not put this in here. I don't know. Then I have this mirror. This is the mirror that I put in here. Just full length, it's a mirror. If you keep walking, 
I put, I had six of these. One of them fell off. This one's also so dirty, but one of them fell off. So I didn't want to have just five. So no, I had eight of them. I don't know math. I had eight of them. One fell off. I didn't want to just have seven. So I just made it six, but they were there and made it look more even, but it's fine. These are just for dramatic effect. And then as you keep walking, I have, oh, why am I not in focus? I have one of my desks. This desk chair is just extra. I need to have facilities take it because I don't want it anymore. Um, keep my fan there. It's been cold, so I don't need it, but when it gets warm, I will. This is my like academic desk. Up here, I just have like a uh, um, humidifier. No, yeah, humidifier, an air purifier thing, essential oil diffuser, all that jazz. Letter L for Lily. Um, my paddle that my little made for me for my 21st birthday. And my junior, what is that? Junior sister of the semester. Sorry about it. And then my pin box that I keep my pin in and everything and just glasses. Just, I don't know. That's like whatever that is. And then my car keys. And then I just have like this little thing. I keep masks and just like important papers that I get. And I keep my laptops plugged in. And then I have a Echo Dot that I'm not going to say her name and scar you with that. Um, I could go through these drawers, but this is a literally a drunk what? This is a junk drawer, so mm, we don't care. This I just keep like dry shampoo and stuff in. My pit vipers are also in there, but this is just like to quickly grab things. I don't even know what's in this drawer. Oh, oh my god. This is my fidget drawer. Um, yeah, that's literally also a junk drawer. This is where I keep all my extras. Oh my god, it's so fucking full. I can't even open it. Ooh. But like, I have extra shampoo, extra um, razors, shaving cream, Q-tips, Olaplex, like medicine. Basically anything that like I could run out of, I try to keep myself stocked with it. So like when I do run out of it, I'm not actually out of it. I have a backup and then I replace the backup. It's just, I learned the hard way that when I don't do that, like I get down bad. So that's why I do that. Next, I have this little number. This comes with every double, and like most people would like share it with their whatever. I just put it in between the desks because I just have so much space. Here I have a Brita. I mainly just use this for refilling that. I don't normally drink from this. I also don't drink water because I'm awful. This is just like shaker bottles, cups, bowls. I just keep it all there because I just don't really care. Um, I have snacks in here. Snacks in this drawer, other drinks in that drawer. Then this is my like vanity desk. Yeah, so up here I just have like perfumes, lotions. Yeah, I just keep it up there. And then my glasses, Beats Pill speaker. Oh my God, someone is literally out the window right now. They also can literally see me, so that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, this mirror from Amazon that lights up for when I do my makeup. Old Prosecco bottle, I don't know why. Um, this little ottoman is from Dormify. I keep shoes in there, so that's cool. And I use it as a seat when I'm sitting here. Um, this drawer, oh, I did not even show that. This drawer has like skincare, contacts, makeup remover, gua sha, you know, like stuff like that. Things like that. This drawer, I have all my makeup. I'm like not doing a good job at this. All my makeup, anything that I could need is in this drawer. This drawer, I keep my Dyson. And then this drawer, I keep like hair, like um, spray and like stuff like that, hair products. This is like clips, headbands, scrunchies, hair ties, all that. And then a curling iron and a straightener and then self tan down there then moving on to my bed i just keep a bunch of crap under my bed to keep it out of the way um obviously this is we call this a mega bed but it's just two twin beds pushed together because why not these prints are all from amazon i also have leds going all around my room oh that sucks they're broken so there's that 
but yeah, it's my bed. Bedding and everything is from Amazon. I could link it, but it's not helpful because who in college needs king size stuff other than me. Um, these are my closets. Obviously, in a normal situation, you would get one. Um, I stacked both of the bureaus on top of each other. They're not, these drawers are not um, organized, so I'm not gonna go into them, but basically sweatshirts, sweatpants, underwear, athletic clothes, like dance stuff, t-shirts, miscellaneous, going out tops, jeans. I keep my big sweatshirts up there. I just throw them up there. And my winter coat hanging. This is where I keep my towels, laundry, the rest of my shoes. Keep the ones I grab a lot out. And then I have this whole bin of shoes. I have way too many shoes here for no reason. This laundry basket, I keep my dance bag, Tide Pods, random things. This is cart, it works like a bedside table. So I charge my phone here, keep my medications. Yeah, that's basically the overview of the room. Yeah, I don't really know what else to include. So hope you found this helpful. If you're a prospective Bryant student, I hope this helped you figure out what you're doing. If you're a freshman, it's gonna be a sophomore and you've never been in a suite and you don't know what they're like, you're welcome. If you were just genuinely curious what trap I lived in, you're also welcome. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.